Welcome to the monthly Microsoft Patch Tuesday webinar from Secunia. My name is Stefan Fry, Research Analyst Director at Secunia. So we had a larger patch day than last month. Microsoft released 12 bulletins for February 2011. This is bulletins MS11-003 to-014. Based on Microsoft severity rating, three bulletins were considered critical and nine bulletins considered uh, important and for eight of those bulletins consistent explode code is likely or already available in the wild. In general most bulletins affect uh, all kinds of Microsoft operating systems and related components. Ten bulletins. We had one bulletin affecting Microsoft Visio and one bulletin affecting or affecting Internet Explorer. There are different kinds of exploitation found in those 12 builders. So a victim browses to a malicious web page, an SMB or a web dive share, this is one kind of exploitation. We had with the Kerberos builder, the traditional man in the middle attack, if somebody can sniff or modify the traffic, he could exploit this vulnerability. One builder affects the Microsoft IIS FTP server, so if you can connect to the servers and load or submit uh, some uh, exploit code or malicious traffic, you can exploit these vulnerabilities and many vulnerabilities are of the privilege escalation type, so they are exploitable for an attacker who already needs local access but then can escalate his access rights to be uh, system account or uh, the administrative account. We'll now look at the three vulnerabilities or three build tests that we consider very important a little bit in more detail. Quick facts for MS11-003. This build uh, discusses the Internet Explorer vulnerabilities. There were several vulnerabilities. They affect all recent versions of Internet Explorer from version 6, 7 and 8. And according to Microsoft, the vulnerability is being actively exploited. So, the type of vulnerability, there are several. One is a use after free when processing cascading style sheets. We already talked about this vulnerability in the last webinar. It can be exploited when somebody loads a crafted or specifically crafted uh, cascading style sheet which contains multiple import rules. Then one is uh, that certain libraries can be loaded in an unsafe manner which then can be exploited uh, with the code in this uh, library. So a user is prone to this vulnerability if he opens a HTML file located on a remote web dev or SMB share. In addition to that there were two unspecified errors that exist in the way on how certain objects in Internet Explorer are accessed. This build describing all those uh, vulnerabilities is considered extremely critical with uh, our security rating. It's exploitable from remote and provides system access upon successful exploitation. The vulnerabilities in here were first disclosed in uh, December 2010. Next is Bulletin MS11-006. It's a Microsoft Windows thumbnail bitmap parsing buffer overflow. It affects Windows XP, Vista 2003 and 2008, basically all recent versions except Windows 7. Exploit code is publicly available, for example in the Metasploit framework, but Microsoft has not registered reports of active exploitation in the field yet. The vulnerability is caused due to a sightness error in within the Windows Shell graphics processor when passing thumbnail big maps. This can be exploited to cause a stack by the buffer overflow via specifically crashed, uh, crafted uh, thumbnail image. Due to the prevalence of thumbnail images, this is considered an extremely risky vulnerability. It is also exploitable from remote and provides system access to the victim's host. It was disclosed in January, or first disclosed in January 2011. Microsoft built the MS11-007. It's an open type font format driver vulnerability affecting all recent versions from uh, the Microsoft operating system Windows XP Vista 7 and the server operating systems 2003 and 2008. 
It is remotely exploitable either through a third-party application that supports embedded open type fonts or for Vista and later by viewing a network share containing a malicious font file in Windows Explorer. The vulnerability is caused due to an input validation error in the Windows Open Type Compact font format driver when passing certain parameters of open type fonts. This vulnerability is considered highly critical. Again, it's exploitable from remote and provides system access. Comparing to the other two uh, build tests we discussed, this one was this vulnerability was first disclosed together with the patch available as of uh, this uh, patch day in February 2011. So, all the 12 uh, build tests are released or were released yesterday. If we have to prioritize them, we think the five most important build tests are the ones we have listed here. This listing is based on the criticality rating from Secunia, so two of those five build tests are, uh, or two of the twelve build tests are uh, rated extremely critical and three build tests are rated as highly critical. Those are the five build tests seen here. Further, according to Microsoft, for three of those five, consistent exploit code is likely or already available and for two build tests, inconsistent exploit code is likely. So, with uh, this methodology, we consider the most important one to be the highest, to enjoy the highest priority is this Internet Ex Explorer Multiple Vulnerabilities Builder MS003. Internet Explorer is very prevalent and it is very easy to exploit just by browsing uh, to the wrong website or loading some HTML files from a uh, shell. The second is the thumbnail bitmap parsing buffer overflow. It affects many versions of Windows uh, operating systems and it is easily exploited also by loading a malicious thumbnail bitmap. Microsoft Visio number three, based on the criticality and the availability of consistent exploit code. However, Visio is not as prevalent as the Windows operating system or Internet Explorer. However, if you deploy Visio, it is a very risky vulnerability that you enjoy high priority prioritization in patching. The other two vulnerabilities based uh, on the rating highly critical and inconsistent exploit code that is likely available is the Microsoft IIS. FTP server vulnerability and number five the open type compact fort format driver vulnerability. As always with our uh, Patch Tuesday webinars we provide uh, metrics to give you a quick overview of the builders that were released to quickly assess what uh, is most important for you. So we have the bullet test, the 12 bullet tests here in this matrix together with the CVE codes and the security advisory where you can find consistent information from our vulnerability intelligence and uh, research branch. The criticality is how Secunia rates the criticality. It's a five level scale from not critical to extremely critical. The column where tells us from where the vulnerabilities are uh, exploitable from remote is clear from local system needs somebody to have local uh, account or be on the local system in order to exploit the vulnerability or from the local network somebody within the local network. The impact we have uh, 12 impact ratings here we list the most severe impact rating applicable to the respective uh, security builder. Most builders have either system access and in this uh, patch day we have many privileged escalation type vulnerabilities and one denial of service. Exploitability is based on Microsoft's uh, exploitability in index. We see most of them are consistent exploit, for most of them consistent exploit code is likely, uh, for some of them inconsistent exploit code is likely. Description of the vulnerability and what operating systems or what applications that are affected. So, thank you very much for your attention. I hope this information was useful to assess and prioritize the vulnerabilities that were disclosed or the patches that were made available by Microsoft in this patch Tuesday. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again next month when we discuss the 
March patch day. Thank you very much. Stefan Fry from Sicunia.